Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, Quran Weekly, welcome back to the stories of the prophets. Today we're going to be talking about Ayyub alayhi salam. The Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam has a very powerful story that's told to us in the Qur'an at a couple of different places. And I'm going to be drawing on both of them a little bit. We'll start off to just basically establish the story from Surah Al-Anbiya, Surah number 21. In Surah number 21, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَأَيُّوبَ إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَسَّنِيَ الضُّرُّ وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّحِيمِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, remember Ayyub alayhi salam. Focus, reflect on Ayyub. Why? And when, remember the time when he said and he called out to his Lord, Anni masani adur, that a lot of difficulty and adversity has afflicted me. I'm dealing with a lot, my Lord, my Master. Wa anta arhamur rahimin, and you are the most merciful of all of those capable of showing any mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then tells us, Fastajabna lahu that we immediately answered his prayers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ أَهْلَهُ وَمِثْلَهُمْ مَعَهُمْ رَحْمَةً مِنْ عِنْدِنَا وَذِكْرَى لِلْعَابِدِينَ so now let's talk about the backstory a little bit. Ayyub alayhi salam, the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu tells us and the books of tafsir explain to us, Ayyub alayhi salam was a man who was an ex- an extremely handsome man, somebody who came from a really beautiful place. He had a beautiful family that he was raising. He was a very wealthy individual, very well-to-do. He had a great business, fantastic business, fantastic home, great family, good health. Like, just an absolute, like, picture-perfect scenario. And at that point in time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again, to provide for us a role model, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested him. And here's where it gets a little bit difficult. Some might find this very tragic. Some of the narrations say that he became extremely ill and sick. And specifically it was to the point where his skin, his body was rotting, all different types of physical ailments. Not only was he dealing with disease and illness, but he was separated from his family. He was... Hey, he was forced to leave his own home. His business started to suffer. And so that was kind of the unfolding of everything in his life. Some of the scholars of, uh, of Tafsir actually mentioned that he suffered the loss of his family. Many of his family members actually passed away. Like this is somebody who's struggling on all fronts. Usually when we talk about a situation like this, there's one last piece of the puzzle. Usually when we tell a story like this or talk about a situation like this, we also talk about that person struggling spiritually. But Ayyub alayhi salam did not struggle spiritually. This is a great prophet of Allah. He kept his faith. Never was shaken in his belief in Allah. And many of these different prophets we talk about, different aspects and qualities of faith shine through in their stories. From their belief, to their conviction, to their integrity, different, different qualities surface. The quality of Ayyub alayhi salam that really rises up to the surface, that really shines through and breaks through from the life of an already amazing and remarkable individual is the quality of patience. He never lost his cool. Why do I say it like that? Patience. A lot of times when we talk about sabr, When we talk about patience, we talk about it in either such an overbearing manner where it seems humanly impossible. Like patience is to not even feel anything. That's not, that's that's preposterous. Not feeling anything is not being human, not being alive. You do feel something. Or when we talk about patience, we talk about it in a, we, 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 talk about it in a very almost scientific, technical, sterile fashion. Like it's a lab experiment. But no, sabr, patience, is a very human, it's it's a human ability. And it's an ability that we all have. We just have to hone in on it, we have to develop it, and we we have to emphasize our sabr, our patience. What does the word sabr even mean in the Arabic language? 
We just translate it as patience. The word sabr in the Arabic language literally means to tie something down. That's why Allah told the Prophet ﷺ, وَاصْبِنْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ وَاصْبِنْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ Keep yourself with those people. Tie yourself to those people. Keep company with those people. Stay with those people. And so sabr is tying it down. Having restraint. You feel the pain. You know your situation, your circumstances. You're hurting and you're hurting real bad. But through all of that, you're able to keep your perspective, you're able to maintain your demeanor, you're able to keep your cool. That's the thing. Ayyub Sam didn't lose his head. He didn't get out of control. But he maintained his patience. He maintained his, his stability. And he kept remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kept turning to Allah. His, what got him through such difficult times was his connection with Allah, his remembrance of Allah. There were times when he barely had another soul around him. The Qur'an tells us it was his wife that was there for him, and outside of that there was nobody else. But it was a remembrance, and the, pa- uh, the remembrance of Allah, and his patience, and the sweetness of that patience, that faith, that iman, that got him through such difficult times. And eventually when the time came, when the time was right, he raised his hands and he called out to Allah and he made dua. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rescued him. He saved him. Allah says, we answered his prayer. We removed his difficulty. We cured him of his illness and his disease. And not only that, but we reunited him with his family. وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ أَهْلَهُ وَمِثْلَهُمْ مَعَهُمْ We not only reunited him with his family, but we increased his family. We not only returned his wealth to him, but we increased his wealth. We not only repaired his health, but we increased his health. رَحْمَةً مِنْ عِنْدِنَا And all of this was a special mercy and a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward Ayyub alayhi salam for not just being patient, but being the pinnacle of patience, being a role model of patience. And that's why I'll reference another place in the Qur'an, in Surah Sa'd, Surah number 38, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّا وَجَدَنَاهُ صَابِرًا We, no matter what the situation was, no matter how difficult circumstances became, we always found Ayyub alayhi salam to be patient. إِنَّا وَجَدَنَاهُ صَابِرًا نِعْمَ abdu. He's the best slave of Allah. What an amazing, remarkable human being. إِنَّهُ awab. And this is where I want to extract the lesson. For me, for you, for all of us. Where do you get that patience from? See, it's easy for me to talk about patience. And we've all heard lectures about patience before. But how do you develop that patience? It's easy to talk about. Especially that story of the Prophet ﷺ. He comes across a woman crying at the grave of her child. And he says, be patient. Be, be patient. And she says, you don't know what I'm dealing with. And later on, she comes to apologize to the Prophet ﷺ. She didn't realize that you know, she had responded like this at the, in, the, in the heat of that moment. She comes to apologize. And the Prophet ﷺ says, no need to apologize. But he tells her, As-sabru inda sadmatil ula. Patience is in that first instance. Again, I said that that's very easy for me to say, it's very easy for you to listen to. How do we actually accomplish that? The secrets here in the story of Ayyub Ali Sam, Allah tells us, Innahu awwab. He just kept thinking of Allah. He kept reminding himself of Allah. He kept th- remembering Allah. He kept turning back to Allah. The moment he felt weak, like he was gonna, he was gonna crumble, he was gonna give in. He immediately thought about Allah. He remembered Allah. He said the name of Allah. And that's where he drew his strength from. When you have trouble being patient, just say the name of Allah. Next time you want to complain, you want to utter a word of displeasure, before you say anything, just say Alhamdulillah. And then see what follows after that. What do you say after that? You know, in my own community, recently in a khutbah talking about just gratitude and patience, I gave my community a challenge. And I'd like to issue that challenge here, here, to the Qur'an Weekly Brothers and Sisters. And that is for the next 24 hours. We just learned about an amazing man who had remarkable patience. For the next 24 hours, make a promise, make an oath, challenge yourself that you will not complain about anything for 24 hours. The second you think about, you feel like complaining about something, Alhamdulillah. You'll replace all your complaining with the word Alhamdulillah. The ultimate praise and glorification and thanks is for Allah. Just say that much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all patience. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from difficult circumstances. But when we do deal with some difficulty, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be more like the amazing Prophet of Allah, Ayyub alayhi salam. Until next time, Quran Weekly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.